Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I just thought I'd do a short six or seven slide uh, presentation discussing which JavaScript framework you should learn and or use depending on the project. Um, so right off the back, I'm, there's a lot of different frameworks that obviously I'm not going to cover. Uh, I'm going to focus on the three main front end frameworks, Angular, React, and Vue. Those are the three big dogs in the race right now. Um, and so let's get right into it. Uh, so first of all, you need to know JavaScript. I know everyone says this when they're comparing their framework you should learn, but it's really crucial to learn ES6 and ES7 JavaScript because they all stem from these uh, language from JavaScript, from ECMAScript 6 and 7. A lot of the features are used in all of the frameworks. If you master, or I wouldn't even say master, if you learn JavaScript in and out, you know, know about 75% of how JavaScript works, um, how it works under the hood, and you know, you can learn how to do specific things with JavaScript, but learning how those specific things work will help you tremendously because once you learn uh, the core fundamentals of JavaScript and how to use it fully, you can really learn any of these frameworks pretty easily because they all just stem from it and it helps you understand how these frameworks actually work. So some of these frameworks, they have a lot of, I call it magic, where they basically have their own functions that do what you need to do. And if you know how JavaScript works in and out, you'll understand how that magic works and that'll help you debug uh, situations and it'll help you figure out certain problems that aren't always clear. Um, so. The best resource I found for just learning JavaScript, including ES6 and ES7 functionality, is uh, freecodecamp.org. Um, I actually, I'm not a sponsor or anything, but uh, I learned a lot. I picked up a lot of my skills from freecodecamp. Um, I previously, just an example of why you should learn JavaScript. The first framework I really learned was Meteor, which is like a, a full stack JavaScript framework, which is a great framework, but I think it's kind of dying down a little bit. But anyways, I learned that before I really learned a lot of the core JavaScript functionality. And after, after I learned that and I tried to go to something else, I had no idea what was happening because I knew Meteor. I didn't know JavaScript. I knew how Meteor functions worked, but I didn't really know how they actually transpiled and compiled and then worked. Um, so once I did go to free code camp and learn, got a really good solid understanding of how everything works, it was really easy for me to learn all the other frameworks. So let's uh, kind of talk about each framework, what they're good at, what they're bad at, and then I'll give you an opinionated answer on what you should be using or what you should be learning. So for Angular, it's kind of known as the enterprise king. Um, most big enterprises make applications using Angular. Um, there's a few reasons for this. First of all, they are very it's a very full featured framework. Everything you need to do is probably included within the framework. There's not a lot of external libraries or external components or external things you need. And what this does is it allows companies, large corporations to rely on only one thing. They only need to rely on Google to to give them the tools they need. If they like let's say you're creating a bank application you don't want to be pulling in different parts from a lot of different places um, because then you have to check the liability you have to make sure each uh, each place wherever you're grabbing this tool is secure and it has proper legal protocols and all that all that kind of thing so angular has a lot of tools and functionality built in within it it's a lot to learn but it can be very full featured Obviously, it's backed by Google. Um, they created the framework. It's very secure. They have there's a very it's very opinionated in in a way that there's one way to do a specific functionality. And like routing, there's one option. There's one way to do it, and it's the right way to do it. Uh, versus some other frameworks are really loose and flexible. Angular is very tight and standardized. Uh, scalability is built in because of the standardization it really allows you to create a folder structure and have other team members be able to, to know how that folder structure should be because it's already standardized. Since everything is standardized, it's really easy to scale things out because you don't have 
a lot you don't have a lot of spaghetti code you don't have a lot of messy you don't have a bunch of different ways of doing one specific thing everything's done one way so it's very easy to read and scale your application uh, one, one kind of negative probably the biggest negative thing that drove people away from angular was the version confusion so uh, i won't get too into it but just kind of a basic rundown originally they had angular and then they came out with angular 2 um, and then they just started calling it angular again uh, and then there's angular 3 and angular 4 there's all these different versions and then like angular 2 and 4 like kind of split off and they had their own way of doing things it's just kind of confusion to a lot of developers who are not familiar with angular and who are not trying to um, or who have not actually been working with angular if you try to go into angular right now at this moment It's gonna be a little confusing to know what you should be using because some companies are using angular 4 and some companies are using angular 2 um, It's a little unclear there of which you should do what you should learn So let's talk about react so react is kind of leading the race in terms of uh, framework adoptability uh, they are very widely used um obviously they're they're backed by facebook uh so they have a pretty good you know oh facebook backs it so i know they're always going to be on top with their versioning and on top with their updates and patches and everything like that react is a very flexible and a componentized uh framework meaning that there's not it's not opinionated at all it they gives you options and it's actually react itself is very little react is more of a theory the component theory so all it does is it gives you here's a base component and it, and it lets you write jsx it lets you write uh, html and javascript essentially in, in its own special way um, other than that you know it, it oh and then it also has life cycles so it has built-in methods to know when a component loads, when a component leaves, when a component updates. Those are all built in with React. Other than that, everything else is pretty much pure JavaScript or external packages. Uh, so it's very flexible in that way where you can kind of plug it into any application that may need it uh, on the front end side. It's just uh, the view. So if you think about the model view controller, standard uh, type of application, it's just the view part. The controller, what determines the routing is actually React Router. The, the models is just pure JavaScript. That's not actually React. Um, and so, uh, let's see, there's a little magic involved. It's mostly just ES6, ES7, JavaScript. There's a right way to do certain things as stated by the documentation, um, but you don't always need to do that. Since it's just pure JavaScript, you can, there's a lot of different implementations of ways to do certain things. There's a huge community back behind it. There are a ton of packages and plugins. So most likely if you're if you want something done on your website that's probably been done before, it's probably a package. Um, so like you know, they have color selectors, they have animations, they have measurement packages, uh, they have loader packages. So whenever you want a new feature in your in your application, it's probably already made and it's probably a package somewhere. Um, so it's very easy to just kind of plug and play all these different community-based packages. It is open API. It is a uh, open sourced uh, now. It wasn't before. There was a huge controversy uh, with licensing and open source and all that, but it's all clear now. They're open source uh, framework. Uh, you can create issues and uh, you know ask them hey why does this work why does this not work and people are pretty good and responsive on that but more importantly it a huge community making the framework better every day there are a ton of career opportunities for react if you go on any job site there's always going to be people at, at this point in time at the time of this recording looking for people who know react it's a, what a lot of startups use because of the adoptability that has taken place also, they have React Native, which is probably the most upcoming native app builder there is that is just pure JavaScript. Uh, so that's if you are going to be making an application on the web and then maybe you might want it on a native application, React Native can easily just take your current code and then just turn it into a mobile app essentially. So it's a really good opportunity right there. Um, now let's talk about Vue. So Vue is actually the first out of the, 
the big three frameworks that I learned. Um, I, I really personally like Vue for a number of reasons. Uh, but first, first of all, it is trending upward very quickly. Um, the past year and a half or so, it's really been getting a lot of popularity and a lot of adoptability. Um, a lot of developers are, it's very developer friendly. A lot of developers like using it because it's very easy to use. There's a lot of built in functionality while still being componentized. It's not a lot of overhead. You're not forced to use all of the view functionality, but the core functionality that it does have is really good. It's really fantastic. It's very easy to learn. Um, it is open source. It was created by one developer um, and then open sourced and a lot of different developers helped build it now. Um, there's a lot of magic in this framework, meaning that there's built in functions that uh, let you do things really easily. Um, so if you do not have a strong JavaScript background, learning Vue would be easier. I would still recommend learn more JavaScript first before learning it, but it can definitely be a shortcut um, to learning if you really need an app, a framework based application and you're not a master of JavaScript. Maybe you want to just learn something quickly. Vue would definitely be the one to do. Also, uh, just a side note, it's integrated with uh, the PHP framework Laravel pretty nicely. It's already built in when you just create a Laravel application. Um, so you don't have to configure a web pack. It already has all the base things you need built in there. So it's always nice. Um, so which framework should you learn? So I, There's another slide here. Which framework should you use? So it's a little different. Which framework should you learn? If you don't know any of these frameworks and you're trying to decide which one you should learn or learn first, Here's kind of the breakdown. If you are going to be building an enterprise or corporate application, like a banking application, something that needs to be very secure, very safe, and very uh, well backed, um, it's going to be based on the company that is making the application. If you are your own freelance company or you want to create your own company that builds web applications for these very corporate and enterprise uh, levels, then you should be learning Angular. You know, if you, if you plan on joining a specific company that makes Angular applications, then you should learn Angular. Uh, if you're trying to get hired quickly, if you want, you know, easy jobs, uh, security, definitely go with React. React is the biggest on the market for uh, jobs. Uh, if you want the quickest framework to learn, the easiest framework to learn, I'd go with Vue. Um, I've actually tried to learn React a few times before I could actually learn how to use it. At first, it was really overwhelming, just the amount of things you had to learn. Again, my JavaScript wasn't as strong as it is now, so it was harder to learn. So I actually recommend learning Vue first and then React because React, there's a lot of things to kind of memorize how th certain things are are done uh, using their life cycles and um, how their component works. Uh, with Vue, you don't use JSX at all. You, it's almost like just a template engine um, for HTML and regular JavaScript, uh, regular JavaScript for just easy, I should say the easy parts of JavaScript. Um, so if React is overwhelming, learn Vue first. Once you learn Vue, uh, and then you go to React, you'll, you'll see a lot of comparisons and it makes it a lot easier to realize certain things that are done. Um, so I, just, I just find it really easy to take Vue on first and then it's really easy to kind of compare and then build on top of that in order to learn React. So which framework should you use? So this is more of like a project based decision. So if you knew all three languages or all three frameworks, and you have a new project coming up, which framework should you use? So again, if it's a large corporate application with scalability and longevity needed, go with Angular. Honestly, that's the only time I would use Angular. It has a lot of overhead, uh, meaning it has a lot of functions and code that probably won't be used unless it's a very large uh, corporate application. Um, so not to bash on Angular, but it's kind of lost a lot of the usability, easeability, and friendliness for developers. Uh, 
if you are going to need other developers to work on this in the future or if you, you have a team that you're trying to decide which one to use you probably want to use react just because it's a lot easier to find a react developer so if you're you know you need to hire someone um and you want just someone to jump in right away on the code it's probably best to go with react if you use Vue, you might not have as many candidates you might not have as many people like typically you would want to hire a JavaScript uh, developer who could then adapt to Vue, but there's a learning curve to it, and there's a there's a higher learning curve for React. But mo you're gonna have more people that know React coming in rather than Vue. If you want to use a lot of different libraries and pre-made components um, and just a lot of support. Uh, globally, I guess you could say, just, just a lot of external functionalities, a lot of opportunities to find things that are already made. React has the biggest library on pre-made stuff. People just make React um, plugins and uh, dependencies all the time. There are a lot of Vue as well, uh, but just not as much as React, just because Vue is a little bit newer. If you need your project done quickly, fast, and easy to read, uh, definitely go with Vue. If you are doing a solo project, meaning there's not really going to be any team members, obviously it's really up to you what you're the most comfortable with. I would probably use Vue just because it, it looks cleaner. Um, and to me, it's very opinionated, uh, but I just like the way that Vue looks. If I was working in a team, I would probably use React, to be honest, just because of how widely used it is. Um, I, I do love working in React. I work with React professionally um, and then independently I mostly use Vue although now I've been creating a lot of React applications just to kind of learn more about it. Um, so a solo project obviously depends on yourself what you prefer to use for me it'd be Vue uh, or React if, if for whatever reason I just wanted to use React. Uh, if you want the possibility of just quickly making a mobile native app definitely go with React. React Native is obviously a, a very major uh, upcoming technology. Um, there are native things for Vue, but it's very under, uh, it's not anywhere near production. And, and React Native definitely has a lot of things to work work out. It's not perfect by any means, but it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty nice to use. Uh, all the native applications for Vue that I've checked out just kind of seem to be in the works at the moment. So I hope this uh, slideshow helped. I hope all this information helped you out. Let me know in the comments if you, what language you're gonna learn or what language you're gonna use or, or why you chose a specific language for a specific project. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.